with a song in my heart, the story of men and their music, of composers who really had a song in their hearts. fonder of you than of myself. It's true things that I never do for myself, I do for you. I do. Although my mama tells me not to, when you say kiss me dear, I've got to. It takes the powder I'm a little bit sweeter than you, than to myself. I am just a little bit nicer to you, than to myself. I am... You take me home, my daughter, and then before I steal upstairs, I first remove my shoes and then I say my prayers. For I'm a little bit fonder of you, than of myself. I am. I'm a little bit fonder of you. A 1927 hit from a composer who commenced his songwriting career way back in, well, it was a long time ago. And take it from me, he was a young guy who broke into the songwriting biz the hard way. Let's see, it was back in Chicago around 1912. Two young fellows, one a handsome Montana young giant who sang and played violin, the other a Chicago boy who also sang and played piano. They teamed up as a double act and were specializing in that new form of music we knew as ragtime. Boys had lots of talent and enthusiasm, but that was about all. They were playing in one of the roughest dives in Chicago. <laughs> Well, Jay, we're going over all right with the customers. Sure, Con. But what are we getting for money? Peanuts. Yep, and not many of them. This mob likes us okay, but when the old plate goes round, it comes back like it started. Empty. That's the way it is. What are we going to do about it? Quit? Well, I'd like to, but there's our room rent. Yeah, and we've got everything to pay for it except money. Which all adds up to the fact that something must be done about it. We can't go on playing for a bunch of drunks forever. No, but even a dollar or so helps us get by. And besides, we do eat here. Which is just the way it was with Con Conrad and Jay Whitten back in those tough and dark days. But these boys were opportunists. And when an opportunity came their way, they took it with both hands. It was like this. Jay, we've got to take a chance. How come? I just had a whisper from a pal of mine that a piano act due to open at the Vaudeville Theater tonight has missed the train and won't be here. So what? Well, they wired this pal of mine asking him to go down to the theater and tell the management that they couldn't get here before tomorrow. Well, where do we come in? We're going right down to that theater and tell them that we're that act. But calm, that'd be sheer imposition. Besides, someone's bound to find out about it. Maybe tomorrow, but not tonight. Jay, it's a chance. And if we want to eat, we've got to take it. Okay, boy. Let's take it. And these two boys, Con Conrad and Jay Whitten, went down to that theater, sold themselves to the stage manager, and played on the bill. Result? They were a knockout. Laid them in the aisles. Famous critic Ashton Stevens wrote... But the best act on the bill was provided by two boys, one at the piano, the other on the violin, who, between times, did some sweet harmonizing. Their fresh approach, plus the novel way they treated their songs, made them a hit of the show. And that's the story of how Jay Whitten and Con Conrad made their bow. They were destined later to become real headliners, each in their respective spheres. Jay Whitten became a famous London dance band leader. Con Conrad... 
Why, he was the songwriter who gave us that beloved hit of the 20s, Margie. <laughs> Tell the world I love you Don't forget your promise to me I have bought a home and ring And everything for Margie You are my inspiration Days are never blue And when all is said and done There is really only one What a hit Margie was and is. But that came some little time later. When Conrad and Gwyn made the big time in variety, they were given a contract to go to London and were among the very first to give English theatre lovers a real demonstration of the reigning craze of the day, ragtime. After a successful tour, the pair decided to split. Talking things over one day, Con said, Jay, these English people have been simply wonderful to us. But I'm afraid I'm getting homesick. Well, Con, I must confess that Montana calls me from time to time, but after all, things are pretty good here. I know, I know. But somehow or other, I've got a yen for the lights of Broadway again. What say? No, Con. We've talked this over before, and I think I'll stay put right here. And so the act of Conrad and Witten was dissolved. Jay eventually became almost an institution of the famous Carlton Hotel. Con? Well, he eventually migrated to Tin Pan Alley, where he soon made his mark as a hit writer. After he wrote Margie, with the lyric by Benny Davis, he teamed up with Billy Rose and turned out a bunch of really swell numbers. Then lyric writer Sid Clare came to him with an idea for a comedy number. Well, that's roughly the idea, Con. What do you think of it? Yeah, it might make a number. I'd certainly like to have a stab at it. Sure enough, the boys went to work on it. When they had it completed, they took it along to Eddie Cantor, who at that time, together with Al Jolson, was the biggest name in variety. Thanks for letting me hear it, boys. It's a swell comedy song. You really like it, Eddie? I think it's a natural. And you'll do it for us? Just as soon as I can get it down, it goes right into my act pronto. The rest of the story is pretty well known. For when Eddie Cantor got his teeth into this song, the world found another hit on its hands. For that Claire Conrad number was Ma. Oh, Ma, he's making eyes at me. Gee, Ma, he's awful nice to me. Ma, he is almost breaking my heart. I'm beside him. Mercy, let his conscience guide him more. He wants to marry me and be my honeybee. Every minute he gets bolder. Now he's leaning on my shoulder. Ma, he's kissing me. Oh, 
cold and now he's leaning on my shoulder. Oh my, oh my, oh my, he's kissing me. To show his versatility, right on top of the success of his comedy song, Ma, Con Conrad gave us another sensational hit. This time, a waltz, and surely one of the loveliest waltz numbers ever. That enthralling song, Memory Lane. I am with you Wandering through Memory Lane Living the years Laughter and tears Over again I am dreaming Yet Of the night We met When life was a lovely refrain You were so shy Saying goodbye There in the dawn Only a glance Full of romance Then you were gone Though my dreams are in vain My love will remain Strolling again Memory lane with you I am with you Wandering through By this time, Con Conrad's songs were bringing him in plenty in the way of royalties, and he became one of Tin Pan Alley's most favoured sons. And don't forget, he had plenty of competition from such famous contemporaries as Irving Berlin, Walter Donaldson, Jimmy McHugh and Richard Whitey. To hold your own in this company was really something. Another one of his hit songs of the early 20s, we called it the jazz era, was that really beautiful number, Moonlight. Moonlight, please 
Some time after this song had established itself as a bestseller, Con was approached by a New York producer of musical comedy. Con, I've been wanting to have a chat to you for quite a while. What's well, cooking, Ed? Yeah, it's this way. You're regarded as one of the most prolific hit writers on Broadway. You've been a bit lucky, that's all. Uh, there's no luck about it at all. You've got that rare gift of being able to give the public what it's looking for. That's why I want to put a proposition to you. Shoot, Ed. What's in the air? Musical comedy. I've got a great book that's just looking for a good score. And you're going to write it. A musical comedy, eh? I suppose I could do it. Suppose? I know you can do it. That's why I'm asking you right now. I want you to start on it right away. Okay. Let's see it. What have you called it, by the way? The public will know it as Mercenary Mary. And they surely did. For Mercenary Mary became a Broadway success. The big seller from the production was Conrad's Honey, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with nobody but you. With everything you do, I never, never knew anybody who I could cuddle to till I fell in love with you. I'm in love, you stole my heart away, so listen to my lay, for all I do is pray that on some sweet day, I will hear you say, honey, I'm in love with you. Just now there's no other topic I talk on. Sweetheart, I worship the ground that you walk. I'm in love with nobody but you, with everything you do, I never, never knew anybody who I could cuddle to, till I fell in love with you. Just now there's no other topic I talk on. Sweetheart, I worship the ground that you walk. I'm in love with nobody but you, with everything you do, I never, never knew anybody who I could cuddle to, till I fell in love with you, till I fell in love with you. But the success of this musical comedy never quite wooed Conrad away from the field of pop songwriting. And not so very long after this, he gave us another song hit. It was a product of the early 20s. And candidly, it runs true to that old axiom, if it's a good song, it'll surely live. And to prove it, recording star Doris Day decided to revive it. It happened this way. Doris... Regarding that new platter of yours, have you any ideas as to what we should pack it with? No. I know several swell new tunes, but you know how it is. My ideas never quite fit in with what the recording company has in mind. Which all goes to show, Doris, you're a sensible girl. Meaning exactly what, Al? Well, Doris, let's put it this way. Nobody is an infallible picker of hit songs. <laughs> I learned that one long ago. Mm, smart girl. So maybe, as after all, we're the folk who have to sell your discs... Go on, Al. Shoot the works. Well, perhaps I should put it this way. Con Conrad, he was a pretty good writer of hits. Oh, surely. I know that. Even if I'm more or less a newcomer to the game. Mm, but a wise one, Doris. Yeah, Con wrote melodies that linger on. And one that he wrote when maybe you were just a kid. What was it, Al? A tune called Lonesome and Sorry. Know it? I guess not. But Con's reputation as a hit writer is a mighty good recommendation. Tell you what, Al. Say it, Doris. If I like it, and it suits my style, it's in. Atta girl. And as the idea was right, and as Doris Day liked the song, it was duly disked. The result? Another Con Conrad melody was rejuvenated and became a hit. To remind you. Lonesome and sorry Because you went away I'm sorry, my mistake.
Other Con Conrad hits of the 20s were Barney Google with Billy Rose, Mandy and Me, Palestina, She's Everybody's Sweetheart, and of course the novelty song written around the craze of the day, Ma Jong. And what a craze that Chinese game of Ma Jong was, just like Canasta today. But Con Conrad's best song, interviewed by a music critic one day, he gave his opinion. Well, uh, thanks for the chat, Mr. Conrad. It's been a pleasure. But uh, just one more question before I go. Certainly. What is it? Of your many song hits, which do you consider your best? Well, that's a bit difficult. Margie was my best money spinner. Mm, they'll always remember you by that one. Maybe. But my favorite song... Yes. What is it? I guess it's the Continental. And we're right with you, Con. A great song. And the ideal song for a finale of the Conrad story. So, let's have it. The Continental. It's something daring, the Continental. A way of dancing that's really ultra new. It's really subtle, the Continental. Because it does what you want it to do. It has a passion, the Continental. An invitation to moonlight and romance. It's quite the fashion, the Continental. Because you tell of your love as you dance. Your lips whisper so tenderly Her eyes answer your song Two bodies swing the continental And you're saying just what you're thinking of Just keep on dancing the continental For it's a song of romance and of love Everybody swing the continental, and you are saying just what you're thinking of. Just keep on dancing the continental, for it's a song of romance and of love. For it's a song of romance and of love. And so we cover the story of still another songwriter. The artists who revived the memories of Con Conrad's songs were Bernice Lum, Gordon Glenwright, Keith Hudson, Kenrick Hudson, Don Moore, Irene Hewitt, Max Blake, 
Eula Parker and her Parkettes, and Horry Dargie's Quartet. Your compere was John Morgan. Orchestra and chorus under the baton of William Flynn. With a song in my heart was produced by Alfred Potter and scripted and directed by Jack O'Hagan. <laughs>